All right, these two weapons right here are the best loadouts for Warzone. Now, it's literally one class, so I need you guys to pay attention to every single attachment because this is pivotal to make sure you guys have the best loadout. So starting out, you guys want to put on the Agency Suppressor for sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. Now, if you guys don't know, this is the Krig. Then we're going to move on to the 15-inch CMV mil spec for the bullet velocity, horizontal recoil control, effective damage range, and vertical recoil control. Now, you guys see the cons, but trust me, hip fire accuracy is no big deal because you're not going to be really hip firing this. Aim walking movement speed is going to be compensated and everything else is going to be taken care of. So next, we're going to move on to the under barrel, and that is going to be the field agent grip for the horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control. Next, we're going to go on to the ammunition, and you're going to put on a 45 round mag. Do not put on the 60 round mag because you do not need it. It's going to reduce your aim down sight time, and trust me, you still want to have a good amount of aim down sight time for this AR, and it doesn't take that many bullets to kill in general, so you're going to be good to go. Last but not least, you're going to put on the axial arms times three trust me this makes this ar what it is it's absolutely legendary kill so fast at any distance literally and this is the first thing now we're going to move on to the mac 10 this mac 10 is absolutely dangerous up close and mid-range in my opinion so you're going to want to put on everything that i'm showing you guys you don't need anything except agency suppressor if you don't have agency suppressor then run sound suppression but i put on the agency suppressor for sound suppressor Vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range. And we're going to move on to the barrel. Now you're going to want to put on the 5.9 task force for effective damage range, bullet velocity, and strafe speed. You're going to go with the under barrel. And this is going to be completely up to you. But in my opinion, you should rock the field agent grip for vertical recoil and horizontal recoil control. Some people rock striker for the movement speed and hip fire accuracy. And some people use an alternative for the tiger team uh, spotlight for movement speed and walking movement speed instead of an under barrel. But if you guys want zero recoil, literally vertical and horizontal recoil control, field agent grip is the move. Then we're going to move on to the stay nag 53 round drum. This is the perfect amount of bullets to take down enemies you don't want to use any more than this i think any more is going to be annoying and it's going to reduce your aim down sight time it hurts you more than it'll help you last but not least you're going to want to put on the raider stock for the ADMs firing movement speed aim walking movement speed and sprint to fire time perks are important too in my opinion i rock quick fix overkill and amped and then when i get the loadout i either use tempered or high alert completely up to you high alert is very helpful i don't really think you need tempered that much a high alert will let you know when enemies are looking at you and trust me that can help you turn on people very easily throwing knife is very helpful for the quick finish when you knock somebody in heartbeat sensor just so you can find enemies when you don't have a UAV.
Thank you very much. All right, he was a problem. We're good now. GG.